So let me do a cost breakdown for you. The head bolts, pistons, uh, gasket set, that was about 11,000 Rand. Again, these prices are now relevant to where are we now, September of 2025. So these could change. Washers, uh, four Rand something, 27 Rand in total. Then the injectors were the most expensive, coming in at 26.5, 26,500 Rand. Um, those are also the price fluctuate a lot. D4D washers, 280. Cam belt kit, that is 2,800 Rand. Engine mountings, oh yeah, one of my engine mountings was gone, so we had that replaced. That was 1,200, essentially, 1,100. The D4D intake, that's also a thing. Um, he picked up a second hand one for three and a half, but I had an issue with the intake on my engine uh, where, first of all, I had it cleaned, that makes a big difference. So if you want to manage your engine, make sure to open your intake, clean it out of all the soot inside there, and just make it nice and clean. And then there's a little diaphragm on that intake, which basically I've got valves in the intake which open and close. So on high revs, it's or on high, yeah, high revs, highway speed, it opens up, up and when you're doing low, if you need low end torque on low range or low crawling, it closes it. I don't exactly know how it works. That's what I can understand from what I've been told. And that diaphragm manages those valves to go open and close. So firstly, the valves were stuck because of all the soot. I had it clean and then we realized the diaphragm's got issues. So my manifold had to be replaced. It's about three and a half. I think it's about six brand new if I'm correct. But Got a second and one, put that in there, and now the engine, the flaps and the valves, are everything working correctly on the intake. Then we have got oil filter got replaced, oil, those are the basic things. He also replaced my cowling, and yeah, basically that's that, and the rest is all labor and stuff like that. So the total came down to 71,000 Rand, on, but that's additional manifold, oil, uh, cowling that got replaced, and a few other minor things he did to the engine to make sure everything is up and running. So you can probably look at about 65, 60, depending on who you go. Again, this is JP's quote to me, and that is the price it costs to replace the engine. Or not replace, to fix the engine.